It's gifties time again, Christmas gifts. Uh, another idea from Hayida, Hayda. Uh, this is the CPL VND, so it's a polarizer variable ND filter from three to seven stops. It's a two in one filter, it's a Pro 2, and this one is an 82 millimeter, because when I buy filters, um, I always buy them at an 82 millimeter because that will cover all the ranges of filter sizes and then use step up rings to make them fit all your lenses. That just seems a common sense way of doing it. Buy one filter that fits everything rather than a small filter and then you buy a big lens and it doesn't fit. Comes in a little plastic protection case um, and basically this is what you're getting. You're getting one of these and uh, I will be clipping over to me in a minute and showing you it in the field. But I just wanted to show you it up close and personal first. You've got this nice little uh, rotation handle on the side which gives you your variable ND from top to bottom. And on the side of this, you will see that there is a gauge for numbers on the side. And I'll have to do a close up for you. As you turn this, you get a gauge of numbers along the side three, four, five, six, and seven with a little white line. So when you line that number up with the little white line on the side, you're getting your um, variation of ND. And if I hold it up in front, you can probably just about see, if you look at the white on my clothing, just down there, you can see as I turn it, it gets darker and darker and darker until it disappears. <clears throat> and that's basically how it works. Um, the polarizer side of it, uh, when you attach it, it screws onto the front of your lens. When you attach it to this black part, the red part then spins. So basically that what that's doing is giving you your polarization and again i don't suppose i could probably see uh, the polarization in the van because it's almost impossible to have a light source um, in all fairness it, it is actually working um, i don't know whether i can do it on the lights or anything like that above there but i'll, I'll do it out in the field anyway for you um, but it is actually working and polarizing in the van with the lights i'm using in here it's red it's really quite a nice bright red color, which is very helpful for seeing and make sure it's when it's attached to the front of your camera, you can actually see where it is. And this is a really nice smooth action as well for picking the filters. Now they say it's got no cross whatsoever on this, no cross um, polarization. That is something I need to test out in the field. It comes with a little bit of an instruction leaflet for you. And it also has a card in there. And the card is, it's giving you all of your, um, variations of shutter speeds to apertures to light factors and stuff like that so it's a nice little card for all the information on there as well it's got a nano coating as well it's got a um a coating to stop the water from repelling or you know stop the water purling up on it so it just runs away which is really nice it retails at 83 pound for the 82 millimeter and 70 pound um, for the 77 millimeter. Now you may have 77 millimeter as your biggest filter size, but I would still go for the 82 because if you ever change lenses off or manufacturers later on, you've got the bigger one. And if you go for a bigger filter than your biggest lens, it will avoid that vignetting. Even though you don't get a lot of vignetting with these, um, when your filter is the same size as the front of your lens, you've got more chance of vignetting. So go for a bigger one and then that just helps and eliminates that altogether. Um, just personal opinion and uh, my thoughts on it. So with it being a two in one and you're having that built in CPL, the polarizer, and you're having your uh, neutral density, your ND filters, it means you've only got to carry one item around with you. Uh, so if you're doing waterfalls or uh, waterscapes and stuff like that, seascapes, the one filter is probably a really good idea. It saves you flapping around having all these different filters in your bag uh, to sort of pull in and out. He's got a one year uh, warranty description. It's waterproof, uh, screw on, polarizer and neutral density send filter, and it's an 82 millimeter screw thread. Pretty much simple as that, there's not much I can tell you. So I'm gonna show you in the field how this works, and um, yeah, I'll get back to you with a follow on to the end of this video. So if you're buying a gift for Christmas, this is probably the one to treat your friend to. Uh, it's nice and simple, you can keep it in your pocket and it's a nice little hanger for the tree. Uh, stocking filler as you say if not if you're treating yourself then very very nice um, I do lots of stuff for other filters and gear and stuff I don't recommend one particular filter over another um, I'm using a different set of filters and it's just personal preference to the ones you like um, but yeah very very nice so I'll see you out on the field and we'll do some real testing on it see you outside so we are outside with the filter on the go and I'm a bit chilly uh, it's actually a couple of days after I've done the first part of the video, but I've got my filter on the front now and I just want to show you the first of all, I'm going to take a single shot and this isn't about the photograph. This is about showing you what's going on. Uh, I'm going to take a single shot 
of um, the water line in front of me and I want to try and turn the polarizer so the polarizer is in an off position and I'm going to get a quick shot of this um, and then I'm going to take a second shot and I want to show you the polarizer full on and you should be able to see the difference of being able to see through the water there's a, a ring under the water uh, which you should be able to see now with the polarizer off as I spin it round I can definitely see it appearing in the bottom corner uh, and then the next thing I want to show you is the difference between having um, I'm going to knock my f-stop up a little bit I'm going to take it up to so like about f14 and then I'm going to take another shot with the polarizer on and our filter is now set at uh, three so we've got our filter set at three and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers in front of it and hold three fingers up so we know that that's the three so I'm going to take a picture of the three I want to see the difference in the difference now in the movement of the water so the first one is uh, 2.5 then I'm going to lift it up and bring the exposure around and I'm going to take it up to five so the little numbers on the five and I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to hold my finger in front of it so I've got five and then I'm going to take that exposure with five and you should see there's a, a lot more movement in the water now and then I'm also going to move it up all the way up to seven and I'm going to take another shot this is now giving me three seconds and I'm going to hold my fist together for seven because I haven't got seven fingers surprisingly or not and then this should give you the difference now of the three different exposures with the water and the movement because the water is actually flowing past me and hopefully that will just give you what it is I need to show you so with that one seven seconds we've got a lot of smooth water the one in front of it we've got a slightly bit of smooth water and then the one in front of that we've got a less smooth water and then uh, we've got the polarization and then the one without the polarization after so hopefully that will give you an idea of what this actually looks like I'm now going to zoom in onto the castle and I'm going to take a couple more shots and I'll put them all on the screen for you so you can see what's happening and how it's happening and the tide's going out because that ring's nearly sticking out the water now another thing with this as well now I'm inside my van at the moment and, right so I just want to take a shot of the inside of the van I've turned the polarizer off at the moment and uh, I need to keep the exposure down as low as I can so the polarizer is off and I just want you to have a look at the reflections around the edge of the windscreen on the van uh, and also the dashboard and then when I turn the polarizer on you'll see the dashboard changes tone and the glare on the windscreen disappears slightly as well so you can also get rid of reflections as you go around uh, if you look at my uh, phone you'll see there's a reflection on my phone and then as I go round again uh, you'll get to see there's no reflection on my phone and you can see the sat nav so what a polarizer does is it, it breaks down the um, reflections and the glare on things and uh, very very useful and then of course you've got your built-in stopper for slowing down water and stuff like that so it works quite well I would have to do more extensive tests on it you know how clarity and color and contrast and stuff like that um, but this is really just to show you what it is and how it works so I hope that showed you uh, please like and subscribe to the channel um, I do other stuff as well I do lots of different filters lenses tripods you name it I've had it and I've tried it um, until next time ciao for now see you soon and if there's a product you're interested in knowing about let me know and I can see if I can find out for you tell her bye